Hello guys, it's Firestorm819 and I have a tutorial on my trick reversal this time for you. Okay, at the start you can just shuffle the deck, do whatever you want, it can be a complete fair shuffle, the spectator can shuffle if they want and cut, doesn't matter, completely impromptu. And uh, there are two ways you can present it. Uh, you, it can be done completely impromptu, you literally do not know what any card, even the top or bottom card is. Or you can have a s very small setup, you can just glimpse the top card, which happens to be the Nine of Diamonds, and then force it on them. Which then they choose, and then you know it's the Nine of Diamonds. This helps for the reveal, but you don't have to. But let's assume you did do a force, so you have the Nine of Diamonds on top of the deck, and you maybe you do a Riffle Force, whatever, it doesn't matter what you do. And they pick the Nine of Diamonds. You put the Nine of Diamonds on the top of the deck, and uh, you say you're going to bury it somewhere into the deck. Doesn't matter what, whatever you do, force controls, whatever. Uh, I quite like the, the this force cut. If you do it fast, it's fairly convincing. Or if they're not if they're not looking, you can even do a swing cut, catch a break, and say you'll give the deck a cut, which looks like you're burying it in the middle. In fact, you've already given it one cut beforehand and it's still on top. Then you have them select a second card, let's say they picked something from this pile. I sometimes do a clumsy act with this where I drop this amount of cards and then they say it appears to be more natural. But you don't have to, you can do whatever you want, whatever suits your style. But let's just say they picked the Two of Hearts. Try and get a contrasting card if you can. It's random but it's better effect then. So, take Two of Hearts, put it on top, uh, you can either put it on the top or the second from the top, which then looks like you're putting it in the centre of the deck. This is why you may want to force the second card as well. But it's up to you, you can do whatever you want. So let's just say you put it on the top, and then buried it, or pretended to bury it somewhere in the deck. That's the uh, easy part out of the way. What you should have now is you should have the two selections on top of the deck. So you have two cards selected, and control, keep them both on the top of the deck. Okay? But make it look like as if you're about losing them in the deck. So that's what you should have, two selections on top of the deck. At this point, you can you do a double lift, whatever double lift you want. If you're just starting out, you can do this double lift. It doesn't look as natural, but if you do this little bending, it just looks like one card. Or you can do um, my favourite double lift at the moment, which is uh, this one. Similar to the strike double, but it's not quite the same, because I think the strike double you reach up here, whereas this one I like to reach down here. It looks fairly convincing, as long as you don't let them slip. So you've done your double lift, and you, as you put it back in, you say you say this was the first card you told you commanded to reveal itself, and it's revealed itself. And then you put it down, and you say, since I found that one so easily, let's try it a little different. And this is the other selection, which they think is the first one. Then what you're going to do is a browy reversal. If you don't know how to do that, you get a thumb break under the top card. And then you lift off some cards from the bottom and flip them face up onto the deck, still keeping hold of the break on that card, which was originally the top card. And then you put the rest of the pack face up on the top, which leaves you with one reverse card on the bottom. And then you can just casually give the deck a cut and say it wasn't this card either. And then you say, well, maybe I can try something different, snap your fingers, whatever you want, and then spread through them and say, Ah, and then this is amazing them because they thought this card was over here, and you say, well, maybe if the Nine of Diamonds is here, then over here is the original, the, the other selection. So that's a fairly simple trick. Uh, a couple of tips. If you do force the first or second card, it can help you with the reveal. It looks a bit better. Uh, you can even add in a little bit of mime reading there if you want. And uh, just to try and perform it smoothly, but not too fast. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Goodbye.